Somebody hear me Somebody tell me the answer Me who isn't the answer Me who isn't this might be an unpopular opinion, but I absolutely love the curly ponytail over the trending flip over method. So today I'm going to show you guys how I achieved the look that you saw at the beginning of this video. Um, essentially, I'm just doing a quick weave, but I'm doing it as like a natural inside out ponytail so i'm going to start by parting the perimeter of my hair and that's going to be the leave out now i did a video like this on my channel before but it was with a different hair texture i don't know what it is about summer and curly hair but i just feel like they go together okay so like i said i'm getting the leave out ready and that's just the perimeter of my hair um so yeah i don't know any other way to explain it um you with this style i would suggest having two mirrors i did not just because i have done this style um a lot of times so i low-key kind of feel like i'm a pro <laughs> <laughs> um, but if it's your first time I would suggest using two mirrors just to make sure you avoid any errors so now we are braiding the leave out I don't know what it is about doing a voiceover but I feel so much pressure like why am I nervous I don't know anyway so we're just braiding the leave out um, similar to what is it called like a crown braid um, you're just doing one braid all around your the perimeter of your hair um, So that's the front Here's the back Again, if this is your first time doing this, please use a mirror because once you start gluing the tracks on it can get a little bit tricky So we are pinning that up now that that um braid is over and in the middle you're just doing straight back braids what is it the braids um and you're braiding them <laughs> i'll be letting my intrusive thoughts win child you're braiding them into each other so that you finish with one braid um i really don't know how to explain that in any other way but just like grab the braid as you're finishing your last braid I don't know please ask somebody else so now we're doing I guess this is not as beginner friendly as I thought it would be but anyway now I am putting some grease on my scalp it's very important to moisturize your scalp when you're doing well your scalp and your hair period when you're doing protective styles okay I'm yapping a little too much we're gonna need a stocking cap and the I like the purple diamond uh, glue shield I think that's what it's called but y'all got the picture for reference um, and I like to put this after I moisturize I like to put this on my braids and on the cap um, just for extra shield and protection and when I use this method I realize well I noticed that my quick weaves just come out easier and there is not glue in my hair well I'm not gonna lie it be a little bit of glue in my hair but not as much <laughs> as if I just put it on top of the cap um so putting the cap on and some people put the cap on their leave out and they like do the glue I don't like to do all that um I just avoid putting the cap over the leave out if that makes any sense at all so now we are putting that same glue shield on top of the cap just so that we can get our extra protection and making sure that's like there's no missing areas for the glue shield y'all i don't know what made me put got to be glue spray on this cap i've literally never did this before i don't know if it's because i was just doing stuff since i was <laughs> recording a tutorial but i feel like that's optional it's not necessary so for the quick weave you're gonna need scissors glue and your hair this hair is some bobby boss like natural curly bundles that i got from the beauty supply and this is from a previous install um i think these are 16 inches or 14 
they're decent i rate them like a seven out of ten and then this bundle is an 18 inch from sugar punch i got it from my local beauty supply this hair is so soft oh my god it was so soft i really enjoy having that hair again it's called sugar punch 18 inch so 116 inch i'm lying i think that's a 14 and an 18 i don't know it's either a 16 or a 14 but you want to make sure you have a shorter bundle and a longer bundle just so that it can give you a natural look here i'm just undoing the bundle from sugar punch okay this is the hardest part about this style so basically from the middle of your hair down you're going to apply the track upside down so that it's facing upward in a ponytail motion that's the best way i can describe it i don't know how to describe it any other way um, so what you all just saw was me putting too much glue on there, um, me measuring the track and getting ready to apply it. There is the track. That was a little bit too long, but it's okay if you use like a too long a piece that's too long <laughs> oh this voiceover is eating me up baby okay so like i said from the middle all the way on down those are going to be um upside down basically so you're not gonna yeah i'm not gonna keep repeating myself you're gonna do it like it's facing upward in a ponytail motion um and that's the best way i can describe it i'm so sorry you guys this like explaining this style is really complex but i feel like if you watch it and you're a beginner you would be able to get the gist of what i'm saying so i'm just testing the length out to see if everything is everything once the length looks good for me in the placement i'm wrapping it up because we're about to start with the front so this is the shorter bundle you always want to use the longer bundle at the bottom and the shorter one at the top because it's going to give like a seamless ponytail look i don't know why i skipped over doing that but let me tell y'all a pro tip is getting one long bundle and wrapping it around like the perimeter of your head so that you can just have a seamless ponytail look and nothing looks choppy um I don't know why I didn't record that and get that on camera, but yeah, sorry about that. So here I am just, again, testing out the length, testing out, oh, we got some shedding, um, but I'm just testing out the length, making sure I like everything, um, making sure it's laying right, and it looks like everything checked out okay. So now we are going to do our leave out. I'm using the red, the pencil flat iron. Usually I just use this for my baby hair, but I'm using it for my leave out because it's just not a lot of hair out. Um, and I got thin hair as y'all can see. So this little baby flat iron is perfect for that. Um, so I'm just straightening out the perimeter of my hair. Um, and it's looking pretty seamless. This is the next morning. I was so tired the night before. These are the tools that I use, like a little mini curler, a wig brush, a regular brush, and those little mini flat irons, edge control, and an edge brush. Um, not gonna lie, it was so hard to get that ponytail in the next day. Like, this is a style that gets better over time. Um, so you might wrestle with it in the beginning, but after a while it's gonna be okay. I was so frustrated y'all because <laughs> I was on my way to work and this just was not working out that well for me. Like I just feel like it wasn't cooperating and as y'all can see like the ponytail looked loose, like the curls are brushed out, everything just looked a mess. I was so irritated. And as you can tell with my face, I'm just like, Ugh, oh my God, what is happening? But we're using that small curl.
curling iron i don't know what inch that is or anything i don't know the details on that i got it from walmart and it's revlon that's all i know um but i'm using that to get a wand curl look if you want and if you have time you can just wet it and just let it dry throughout the day i did not have time for that this day um i didn't have time to let it dry and stuff like that so um i like i said i was so frustrated by this time i had redid the ponytail like 85,000 times but this is basically the gist of the hairstyle you just put it in a ponytail um you can do a bun if you'd like you can do well yeah it's just a ponytail or a bun <laughs> um so now i'm doing my edges excuse my dog in the background um i'm doing my edges and my little back pieces and i'm just curling them so that everything can just look you know uniform i don't want to have straight leave out with a curly ponytail that would look a little silly to me so just curling that and here i'm just like ugh. I'm not really feeling it but I'll take it <laughs> because like I said I was getting ready for work and needed to be out the house by a certain time child so you can take whatever edge control you like only use a little bit uh, well for me I only like to use a little bit because I want it to just have like a light seamless type of look I don't want my edges to be too strong um, I don't know because this is like a messy curly pony like this don't give like I don't know I don't know girl this is just my preference <laughs> it's literally just my preference um so I'm doing both sides and with your edges it's really just a matter of getting a motion in your wrist that is like comfortable and just swooping it up that's pretty much it I was just happy to be done here I was like thank God it's over um, I hope you all enjoyed this video and or found it helpful if you try it out in the comments let me know again I think this is perfect for summer it's curly your hair is out of your face off of your neck and it's very versatile I will see you guys in the next video bye